Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today I will be covering my nine 50k Apex accounts and also speaking over activation fees and copy trading. A lot of you had some questions and comments about my opinion and my approach to them. So I have a brief kind of summary I've thrown together about the two concepts towards the end of the video. So feel free to watch this all the way through. Now, eight of the nine of the accounts are evaluations, and then one of them is a PA account, so I'm in the process of working towards my first payout on it. So as you can see here, I have my first eight evals on the top where I have met the $3,000 profit target. Absolutely awesome because that's one less thing I have to worry about when it comes to trading these accounts. A little bit less stress on my shoulders. I actually reached the 3K profit target yesterday on October 3rd during the New York session. I posted my trade idea on Twitter and on TradingView and I followed it to the T. I was able to hit my profit target and I got out. It was a really great day and I'm just very thankful for my performance on the day. Going over my 1PA as well, very thankful with how we ended yesterday and today. On the 3rd, I actually ended a little over $2,000. And then today, the 4th, I obviously cleared it up to $52,623.96. With hitting the over $2,600 in profit now on the account, I have hit the safety threshold, which means the trailing drawdown will no longer follow my unrealized gains. And on top of that, I have met one of the requirements for the payout, which is hitting the $2,600. The second part of the requirement is to have 10 trading days and then request it during the October 15th through the 20th window, which if I continue to hit my you know base hits of $200, I will be able to successfully get that payout. So we're just going to take it nice and easy. For the other eight evals, I just need two more trading days. So by Friday, October 6th, I will have all the necessary requirements to convert them into the PAs. So over the weekend, I will activate them. As far as my psychology goes, yesterday on the 3rd, I actually had two hours of sleep, which was really rough, but surprisingly enough, I felt mentally alert and just good to go on trading. I think my body read the two hours as a like power nap, if you will. But then after I was done trading, I took a nap and then I felt mentally out of it after the fact. That in itself was a very big awakening that I need to eliminate that unnecessary suffering of bad sleeping habits. It's just not a good look for me because it not only affects my trading, but also my energy and like how I am throughout the rest of the day. And it's just, it's not good. As far as today goes for October 4th, psychologically speaking, I felt really good. I was able to catch up on some sleep and I was able to just stay super calm, have all my faith in my trade idea of the morning, which was looking for the break to the upside to the pivot point P on uh, NASDAQ. And that's exactly what happened. And that's how we were able to capitalize on the gains. So yeah, that's everything about the accounts. Now, here is a screenshot from Apex Trader Funding's website. So you can see that one more time. And their 90% sale is going to be ending tomorrow, October 5th. So today is the 4th, yeah. So you have um, a full day or even a couple of hours by the time you watch this um, to be able to secure an account if you want to. You don't have to, of course. But I do want to say thank you all so very much for choosing to support me and using my specific code and link. It means a lot. So thank you guys so much. <laughs> Um, but going into the meat of activation fees and copy trading, I just want to say if you guys would prefer a more in-depth video about these two topics, I'll be more than happy to do that. Feel free to leave a comment down below and any other questions you might have because I am trying to go create as much content as I can for all of you. So yeah, leave that all down below. But to give you a very brief overview as far as my approach and my opinions of both, starting with activation fees, it's the same concept for Rhythmic and Trade Evade. It's just Rhythmic is more affordable. Very jealous about that, but it is what it is. So my approach to trading overall is that it is a business. I'm really trying to get into that mindset. So when I look at activation fees specifically, I see it as a business expense. An analogy would be a restaurant owner that has to do inventory every month, right? They have to go buy all the food ingredients, the to-go boxes, utensils, the sauces, whatever, their employees. It's just a lot of things they have to pay for, but that's an expense for the business. And this is the same thing. So when I look at the activation fee, you know, it's not always fun having to pay things out of pocket. No one likes to spend a lot of money when they don't want to. But because I want to obviously pursue being a prop firm trader, some companies do require activation fees, some don't. In my case with Apex, they do. And so I have to take what they're giving me here. So 
Um, as far as my approach goes, I do choose the monthly and the reason being is that I am very like realistic with myself knowing that I'm self-aware in that. I am not consistently profitable. I've shared that with you guys before and I'm still not because I have a lot of work to do with training psychology to master that part of myself. And then also knowing how to really manage not only my emotions, but my risk. And until I feel more confident in that space, I just know I'm not consistently profitable. And I have said before that once I can obviously master a little bit more of those aspects, then I feel like I can level up a lot better. But until then, I will be sticking with the monthly. If you look at both options from a financial standpoint, obviously the 160 lifetime is a better deal. It's one time and one time only. Whereas 105 monthly, you do that times 12 months in one year, that is over $1,200 you have to be paying. So that's why financially it makes more sense for this. But for me, I just don't quite know if I'll have that one PA by the end of today, or if I'll have it for the next month. Um, if you also look at it financially speaking too, if you are not a consistently profitable trader and you're trying to determine what's a better one for you, if you already know that you're not able to have an account longer than a month, and obviously the goal is to get past that, you never really know when that's gonna like click. If you do 105, subtract that from the minimum payout from Apex, which is $500. And we'll just say you only had that one payout period of 500. You didn't get both payout periods. 500 minus 105 is gonna be 395. Let's say minus the $20 eval at 90% off. That is 395 minus 20, that's 375 going in your pocket. That is awesome. That's already a great return on investments when it comes to activation fees. And knowing that if you don't get to the second month of your uh, PA account, if you spend 160, then you'll be losing an extra $55 from your profit. So I believe if my math is right, 375 minus the 55, that's $320 you'll be taking home. That's still a really great jump knowing you only spent a total of, let's say 180 on the account, but you are able to get a little bit more profit should you have obviously pick the 105 monthly and then you lost it the second month. I hope that made sense, but leave a comment down below if you want me to clarify that. And then my, excuse me, my opinion about copy trading, everyone has a different approach to this and a different opinion about the pros and cons, and I won't get too much into that. I'm just gonna give you the most brutal, shortest way of explaining copy trading in my opinion, in my experience. I do think there's a lot of pros and cons. In my case, I do really enjoy copying a lot of accounts, especially when the accounts are in a very, very like high discounted price, such as 90% off. I feel comfortable with it. I have a monthly budget I'm willing to spend when it comes to evaluations and activation fees. I have not hit that cap on that budget yet. So, you know, I do feel good about doing 1870 times eight accounts all at once. If I do lose it, I have not hit my cap on my monthly budget, so that's okay. Obviously, if money is a bit more tight, I'm not going to try to risk all the accounts. I'm going to spread my risk more accordingly. And it also depends on the trading day. If I don't feel good in the morning, like how on the third yesterday, I was only with two hours of sleep, but I was mentally like alert and I felt good, I would copy trade. But let's say I had two hours of sleep, but I was not feeling good, then I wouldn't risk try to trade all of my accounts at the same time. The main thing is I do try to separate evaluations from my funded or performance accounts when it comes to group trading. And I don't know if some people are like this, but I tend to have more structure um, as far as which accounts I'm going to be trading and how I trade them. The three criteria I look at is time, the amount of money I've spent on the account or my budget for the month, and also stress. So that is one I these are the things I determine and I look at before I decide to do a group trade or a copy trade of all my accounts. In this case, again, like I said earlier, we have a special 90% off. I haven't hit my cap on my evals or activation fees. I felt okay with, in the event I lose all eight evals, it is what it is. I can always pick up another couple. It's fine. Um, but this is a unique situation since the 90% deal is about to end. So I hope all that made sense. But I'll say it one more time, if you would like for me to go into more in-depth video, I can definitely do that. Or if you have any more questions or some clarification, leave it down below in the comment section. But that is my opinion and my approach for both activation fees and copy trading. I think that there's different ways you can see it and try to stay optimistic about them. 
because at the end of the day, trading is a business and you are essentially investing in yourself for it. But I do appreciate your guys' time and support and I really appreciate you not only using my codes and, and you know using my links, but also for following me along this journey. We've grown so, so much the past couple of months and I'm just blown away by all of it. So thank you guys so much. As always, I wish you nothing but the best and most success in everything that you do. And I'll see you all in the next video.